Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is October the 24th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. Kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we are back in the book of Acts, chapter 14. The crowds thought Paul and Barnabas were gods. Why were Paul and Barnabas so upset to learn that the people thought this? Let's read and find out from Acts 14. While they were at Lystra, Paul and Barnabas came upon a man with crippled feet. He had been that way from birth, so he had never walked. He was sitting and listening as Paul preached. Looking straight at him, Paul realized he had faith to be healed. So Paul called to him in a loud voice, Stand up! And the man jumped to his feet and started walking. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in their local dialect, These men are gods in human form! They decided that Barnabas was the Greek god Zeus and that Paul was Hermes, since he was the chief speaker. Now the temple of Zeus was located just outside the town, so the priests of the temple and the crowds brought bulls and wreaths and flowers to the town gates, and they prepared to offer sacrifices to the apostles. But when Barnabas and Paul heard what was happening, they tore their clothing in dismay and ran out among the people, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We are merely human beings, just like you. We have come to bring you the good news that you should turn from these worthless things and turn to the living God who made heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them. In the past, he permitted all the nations to go their own ways, but he never left them without evidence of himself and his goodness. For instance, he sends you rain and good crops and gives you food and joyful hearts. But even with these words, Paul and Barnabas could scarcely restrain the people from sacrificing to them. Then some of the Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd to their side. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of town, thinking he was dead. But as the believers gathered around him, he got up and went back into the town. The next day, he left with Barnabas to Derbe. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Paul and Barnabas, well, they were upset about the crowd's reaction because they wanted everyone to know and to worship the one and only true God. They didn't want people to worship them. Their desire for everyone was that they would come to worship Jesus, and they wanted to introduce them all to Jesus. It was their love of Jesus that taught them that they were just like everyone else. They were human beings that were dearly loved by God. That's what happens when we see Jesus, when we see how loved we are by Him and what He's done for us. We see that He's done that for everyone and that we're all the same. We're children of God. And the more that we see that and live like that, the more peaceful and loving and kind our world will be. Well, hey friends, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible. And I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I plan on being here. Until that time, let's go forward. Let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this. That you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You guys take care.